My name is Anne Wilson. I used to be um, Perkins in Courtauld's days. I started in Spondon in Derby and I went to work in what they called in those days the clothing section, which I thought would be really interesting because I like making clothes and I was interested in clothes. And I was bored out of my mind. <laughs> so um, somebody in the, uh, uh, one of the, the bosses of the physics section said to me one day, you don't look very happy. Uh, what's up? And I was bored and I was miserable and I was away from home. And I said, oh, I'm thinking of packing it in, going home to Coventry. And, and then I got called in by the head of the lab so I went in fear and trembling to be told, I thought I was going to be told off, but actually I was told that there was a job going in Coventry um, from somebody who was moving on, who I actually knew. And I said, oh, you know, I love what she does. Um, so they sent me for an interview. And so I ended up in Coventry in the Salon Sales Development Department. So I traveled around the country. I had a little white, uh, a little white mini, which is my predecessor's. It was a nightmare because it had one of these great long gear sticks which nearly knackered my, <laughs> spoilt my, uh, my shoulder. But I had that for, and I think, uh, say, the, the, uh, the girl company car drivers were a bit of a novelty at the garage. Not very long after I started, um, the director of Salon Division was Ian Jameson, who was, I think, ex-Coventry City footballer and then a director at Coventry City, but he was also director of, of Salon Division, called me in and I thought, oh, what have I done this time? <laughs> and I was, it was all very new to me, but I was, uh, I was told that there was um, a lad who just started at one of the main Courtauld's companies with Samuel Courtauld's, which everybody would have heard of, and they were based in Bocky in, in Essex. And there was a lad started there who was doing very much a similar job to me and he was coming to Coventry for a week. Uh, we needed to get to know him because my predecessor had got on really badly with the people down there. He, they were old fogies and he couldn't cope. So I had to get on well with this lad um, because it was important. They were our biggest customer of, of yarn. So he, um, he was sent to Coventry uh, for a week and I was told to wine him, dine him, give him the full treatment. <laughs> and I had never taken anybody out for supper before, certainly not for business. Um, anyway, he came, I think the first day he was there, my predecessor cashed in on a free lunch uh, at Courtauld's Canteen, uh, and this lad never said a word. And I thought, oh Lord, you know, I've got to take him out to dinner, what am I going to say? I mean, uh, it's going to be deadly. And I think the day we arranged to go, I'd been in London at some exhibition, so I was absolutely exhausted and my mother never stopped reminding me how I really didn't want to go out. But I was forced to take this chap out to, to dinner. Well, I suppose we went to the old mill um, and within half an hour I was totally smitten. <laughs> so, so I struggled to eat a steak. I think I had a schooner of sherry to start off with, which, which didn't help um, because I probably, as I'm doing now, talk far too much. and. Anyway, we had a really interesting, lots of stuff in common, interesting evening. Um, and then I think I took him into town after we'd had the meal. I was horrified by the bill. I think it was seven pounds. Um, <laughs> I was absolutely high. Oh gosh, you know, I shouldn't have had that schooner of sherry. <laughs> anyway, I think we went into town and she walked him around the cathedral ruins and then dropped him back at the Highlands Hotel, whereupon he said, what about the full treatment then? And I said, no way. <laughs> And then a few weeks later, I had to go to Essex to meet the people down there, and he was uh, asked to take me out to supper, which was nice, but it was the only other free meal we ever got on the company, I think. But after maybe a couple of years, Courtauld's then started their wonderful new polyester division, and David applied for a job doing the same as I was doing, but with the polyester. He got the job. And it's, you could say the rest is history, but I was sort of not thinking I was getting anywhere. But I was helping him look for houses. And anyway, in the end, we, uh, we did get married. Um, and when I left, they gave me a lovely send off when I left to have my family. In those days, you didn't, you didn't work with kids. You left to have your kids. So I only did a few years, but I loved, I loved working there. I loved the people I met traveling around. Uh, in my crazy little white mini. Um, and so then we got married, and when I left to have my first child, 
they gave us a big, well, gave me a big send off, and I, of course, told the director, Mr. Jameson, that it was his fault. You told me to wine and dine him and give him the full treatment, and look where it's got you. You lost me.